Thank you so much. Oh, is the mic on? It doesn't seem like it. Yeah. I'm not going to get on the floor and start wriggling around. Nobody wants that. Oh my god, my knees hurt just watching her. Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm a divorced person. Is anybody else happy? <laughs> anybody else wake up every day with a, a song in their heart, a little skip in their step, smile on their face? Huh? Just me? If you know somebody who's sad about their divorce, they did it wrong because it's pretty great. You guys, I'm thinking about getting married again just so I could get divorced again. Who gives a shit at this point? This is awesome. So wonderful. Yeah, I, uh, I, I moved. I was living in Tennessee. I was living in uh, Nashville. And I moved to Taos, New Mexico. I'm off the grid just outside of Taos. And thank you. I, I knew uh, I knew I wanted to do that. So like the last couple years I was in Tennessee, I, every woman I met, I would be like, hey, you know, I want to build sustainably. I want to live off the grid, be self-sufficient. And every woman I talked to would be like, yeah, I'm going to go talk to literally anybody else here but you. Goodbye forever. <laughs> See you never. And uh, here in New Mexico, every woman I meet is already off the grid or they want to be. You know, and they, they, they tell me their fake little hippie name. It's always like Cosmic Moonbeam or some shit. They're all artists. Every woman I meet is an artist, but they also work as a masseuse or a yoga instructor or they do energy work, which as far as I can tell means getting high and fucking around in the woods. That's what that is. But I'm here for it. That's what I want. I want these hot hippie chicks with way too many tattoos. I'm totally down for it. Yeah, a round of applause. Who's got tattoos? Everybody. Very popular. Uh, I don't have any tattoos myself. I've always been too poor to spend money to look poor. That joke gets less and less laughs every fucking time. Tattoos are way more popular than I am. I am off the grid just outside of Taos. Uh, uh, anybody else's uh, religious beliefs centered specifically around the conspiracy theories about their own father? <laughs> Maybe that's just me. The one thing I didn't anticipate, like it's a small town, I live outside of that small town, the dating pool is extremely shallow. Because it is just non-existent. I'm hauling in every drop of water and every piece of ass. I have to bring it all in myself. I've been driving to Santa Fe to get laid and that's not sustainable. <laughs> I can't keep doing that. I, I did hook up with a lady in Taos on Tinder. Uh, the Tinder date worked out like 15, 20 minutes into this whole night. She was like, uh, you can always count on getting dick in Taos. <laughs> I was like, is that our slogan? <laughs> I didn't see that on the sign by the highway, but it checks out. Like, I, I, I mean, I'm ready to get, you know? Uh, but I feel like we should rent like billboards in Austin or someplace and just be like, have you been slut shamed? <laughs> come to Taos. We'll come on you. We're going to have a come to Taos teacher. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I've got an idea for Taos though. I've only lived there like two and a half, three years, but I've got an idea. I think we should build another weed dispensary. <laughs> There's only 25 in a town of 6,000 where everybody I know grows their own weed. Surely there's a Burger King that shut down during COVID. We could slap a cannabis leaf on and jumpstart a business, right? No? Nobody's on board. I knew, I mean, I knew I was in the right place. I've always wanted to be there. Uh, but I, I, it was confirmed whenever the Starbucks burned down, I was like, oh, it was arson. These are my people. <laughs> Like, they don't want this corporate bullshit here. Like, there's coffee houses everywhere. There's actually two Starbucks already in Taos, but inside the Kroger-owned grocery store. Smith's and Albertsons already have a Starbucks, but they don't have a drive-thru. That This one would have, and I guess that's the line we won't cross in Taos, is your bullshit corporate drive-thru's got to... It, it burned down, they cleaned up the mess, they reframed it, and then they burned it down again. And I just want this to be like Taos's little Zozobra thing where it's like 
you know, did I say it wrong? <laughs> no, you did. The, the fucking Burning Man thing you do. With the creepy robot that just kind of does this and screams and you, you, you're supposed to write down all the bullshit, you put it inside and it burns down and you're healed, right? You move forward. I want that to be our thing in town. Like Lucy in the football with Charlie Brown, I want them to clean up the mess, rebuild it, and then burn like, like every four or five months and then we're healed. <laughs> That's my dream. Uh, I don't know if it'll happen or not. I'm sorry? Zozobra. Zozobra. Like the emphasis is on the second zo. Right. I'll remember that. Uh, yeah, I might as well just say the thing I came here to say, and that is fuck Texas. Uh, I want to give them the pleasure. Yeah. I, I mean, if you don't know what I'm talking about, yeah, you do. Fuck Texas. I'm so sick of everything about Texas. It's just, it's such bullshit, it pisses me off. They have three conversations those people want to have with you, and the first one is always like, we're going to secede from the Union. Fine. Go. <laughs> Nobody likes you. Get the fuck out as fast as you possibly can with the least amount of violence you can muster there, muscle head. Get the fuck out. They won't. They just want to talk about it. I want them to leave and build a wall around their whole damn thing. Just so, like, without the United States government, without the military protecting them, just the Mexican cartels are just going to mow them down, you know? And I'm not normally advocating genocide from the stage, but fuck Texas, you guys. I just want to stand on top of the wall, and, like, when they're trying to climb over the wall to get back into the United States, you know, just kick them in the head and be like, no, illegal, go through the proper channels, you piece of shit. <laughs> And then they want to talk to you about the Alamo. Like, oh, remember the Alamo? Oh, the Alamo, I totally forgot. Jeez, uh, oh, now I remember. Thank you so much for bringing it up. The Alamo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we, uh, you mean that time when you guys stole native land and then they beat your fucking ass? Are we just bringing up times in history when you were wrong shitheads? Fuck the Alamo, fuck Texas. And then their food, they want to talk to you about the food and it's always like barbecue and Tex-Mex, right? The audacity of white people to think they do barbecue better than everybody else. Like, have you ever been to a black family reunion? It's incredible! Go! They've not been. They're from Texas. They hate black people. And Tex-Mex, let me tell you something. Mex is doing all of the heavy lifting. What does Tex bring to the table? Racism, homophobia, and white people prices for tacos? Fuck you. Fuck Texas. Thank you so much. Please go to my website, fucktexas.org. This is my entire personality now. Hey, come to town, come see a show, or bring me back here. Thank you, good night. Let's hear it for Chad Lightning, folks.